hi everyone welcome back to one of my videos this time i would like to invite you guys to take on a fitness challenge with me i know that for a while i've been procrastinating shaping up eating healthy and i thought okay well how long can i push it for it's about time i take responsibility for my weight and really work on shaping up a little bit because the way i'm going i'm getting fatter and fatter and putting on more weight it's really unhealthy for me so um, i'm gonna take some initiative and make that effort and i wanted to invite some of you guys to join with me and do the same so we can encourage each other and give each other tips and try to work on it and i'll keep making progress videos and update you guys on how it's going in case you guys are following me and let's see how it goes i'm gonna make a really good effort and yeah um at the moment um i eat a lot of junk food that's every possible kind of junk food the, i eat tons of pizzas greasy oily food i love oily pastas and lasagnas and i eat, i love kfc i drink coke and other soft drinks um every single day um i have my cans of energy drink every day um i have lots of chocolates and sweets and snacks and ice creams and really enjoy my food <laughs> um fried food uh foods with lots of sugar i enjoy everything and okay that might kind of explain why i am putting on a little bit of weight um i checked my bmi today and um it mentioned that i am 30 um so what 30 in a BMI means is that based on my weight, which is 75, uh, 7.8 sometimes, the grams kind of change, but I'm at 75 plus a, a few grams. So, um, and since I'm not that tall, um, I'm 5.2, which is like 159 centimeters. Um, it means that... For my height my weight's too much and 30 as my bmi basically means that i am obese i actually checked it on two three different websites and well everything's consistent i'm obese <laughs> so um, um like there's nothing wrong with being overweight but it is bad for health in my case because I just I, I have no energy I um, like I recently tried to join the gym oh actually I joined the gym and um I was taking a few different classes and I was just panting and exhausted within the first 10 minutes and everyone in there like 70s and there was a few older women who were just filled with energy and I was like this young person in the class who couldn't last like 10 minutes out of a 30 minute basic class which was for beginners um and everyone else was just at a fast pace and i was practically trying to keep up and it kind of made me realize how out of shape i am i tried going for a few walks um i start panting really fast um so i've been working on gradually increasing the distance so that's what i'm doing now but i haven't been consistent in my walks so what i thought is i challenge myself to eat right and exercise but take it slow and kind of gradually build into it because i'm not no fitness buff and i'm far from it um so i thought i'd replace my junk food with that's oats 
quinoa. I really like this one. Um, they've got it in different like types of like. Now this one is chocolate hazelnut. They've got plenty of different kinds of stuff. Like that was berry and different things. So I'm going to have these ones. And when I want a snack, I'm going to snack on like fruits, like bananas. It's just easier. And I found these in the supermarket. I've had these before. They're super light and easy to eat as a snack. And um, seaweed's healthy as well. So that was a benefit. I get to snack on something and it's actually healthy so it works out. It's good stuff. Um and when I want to, when I feel like fizzy drinks, I'm just going to have water and I've, I'm always worried about plastic bottles of water. So I've I purchased a glass bottle. Um so I, I was doing a little bit of reading up on the internet and it didn't encourage um, using reusing plastic bottles. So with the glass bottle, I can just keep refilling water in that. Boil, cool, filter, refill. So that would work. And most of the websites uh, seem to say that it's important to drink a lot of water, which I haven't generally been doing. So I'm going to um, make sure that I drink at least a liter to start with every single day so that I am more hydrated um, I got this at the supermarket vitamin C I, I think with the flu season maybe that's a good thing <laughs> and uh, on days that I'm not using that and I, since I use a lot of energy drinks which have a lot of sugar I thought this might help me um, reduce that habit while keeping to the same level of energy so that's something I'm gonna try as well a lot of my friends use uh, Baraka for performance so I thought I'd give it a go as well it'll give me some energy without me having to um, have a lot of sugar so that's an option and since I'm going to rapidly switch from the high volume of food that I'm going to eat on days that I don't take Baraka or the other vitamin C tablet, I might just take one of these. Um, it was mentioned as uh, a tablet for women. I haven't tried it before. I thought I'd give that a go too. I mean, on days that I don't take the other ones, I might just take pop one of these, see if that works. Um, just to balance it out because I'm going from an overeating obese person myself to cutting down a lot of my usual food and switching over. I'm going to have salads. I'm going to cut down on anything oily. I'm going to uh, switch with foods. Um, a few years ago when I wanted to lose weight before, which actually worked, was I switched from foods like fried rice to steamed rice. I didn't quite change the quantity of what I ate, but just what I ate. That actually helped me lose a lot of weight before. So I'm going to add a little bit of that too, because I don't want to miss out on some of the really good foods out there. So I'm just going to choose the healthier options and see how that goes. Like I like my sandwiches and club sandwiches and double-decker sandwiches. So I'm just going to continue that, but I'm going to switch it to a healthier bread option like whole meal, whole wheat bread and just swap it over so I don't starve myself because I know that every time I feel like I'm not eating enough, I relapse and I just eat like a pig. But usually I do that with buffets, but with the current situation, there are no buffets. So I might probably end up at KFC going through the drive through getting a whole bucket of food. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm saying is I'm just going to keep eating, but I'm going to eat healthy food 
and eat fruits and stuff like that so it will just help me balance it out and also um i've been i've got this health diary sort of thing and i think it's really helpful to write down your weight i bought a measuring a weight weighing scale as well so i'm just going to write down my weight what i eat every day so that it gives me a sense of control and it will help me keep track of what i'm eating so that's something that i'm gonna do um i'm going to write like a, a to-do list i'm going to write down the things that i need to have every day as part of my challenge like i'm going to make sure i drink a liter of water i'm going to make sure i have a certain number of fruits every day maybe two apples a banana and an apple a yogurt uh fat free so those things i'm just gonna write it down so i can also remember to grab that at the supermarket when i make the trip so that i don't have to constantly go to the supermarket but just go once and just get exactly what i need for that week and then i'm sorted um yeah so that's basically my plan um and i've i've been taking some photos of food that i eat so i'll put that up on my future videos um i'm going to on top of uh, continuing to walk i'll be doing that more regularly I'm going to do some different exercises. I'm going to follow some YouTubers who are making a lot of videos, which are really good. Um, I've watched a few and I've tried a couple before. Um, one is uh, X Hits. I found that she has a lot of really good ab workouts and stuff. And I want to try doing more of those because my waist size is really bad. Like, I have... A lot of weight in my stomach and as you can see it <laughs> I've got my stomach right at the bottom as well just hanging there so um, I just I need to lose weight there so I'll definitely do a lot of stomach exercises walking I found that one of the videos um, walking with Leslie is really good because you don't actually have to go out to walk but you can just walk in your own living room and really gives a burning workout i found um so i'm gonna continue to do that so just hit like follow give me your tips i'm gonna keep on updating progress videos um if you guys are doing the same just let's share some information and let's encourage each other to become healthier and yeah let's see how this goes i'll see you guys next time don't forget to hit subscribe like if you've enjoyed this video and let's hope this works i really need to shape up see you guys next time bye so i thought i'd drink stuff like green tea it's healthier it's known to have a lot of good properties and um i think on top of water there are a few different water infusions with different flavors so i might give them a try as well but green tea is something that i've tried before and i've noticed how it really helps with digestion so that's something i'm gonna keep at